when the Steelers play the Buffalo Bills, they are going to beat them. I've got the Steelers beating the Bills 23 to 16. It's going to be a low scoring affair. It's going to be a ground and pound type of affair. Both teams are going to try to dominate the game by running the ball. Just that in the end, the Steelers will be better at playing the ground and pound game. They'll be much better at it than the Bills. So they're going to run the ball down the Bills' throats. They're going to run, run, run. And then when the Bills overcommit to the running game, the Steelers will throw over the top of them. They will take advantage of so many men being in the box. So Doug Hodges will throw the ball to James Washington and McDonald and whoever's going to be shooting up at the wide receiver and tight end positions for the Steelers. And then James Conner should be playing on Sunday. I believe he'll be back from his shoulder injury. So he's going to run the ball. He's going to dominate the Bills on defense. And that is a formula for how the Steelers will win. Now, the Steelers defense will contribute as well. As we know, they always do. They always bring their A game. So Watt, Dupree, Haywood, Minka Fitzpatrick, Joe Hayden, Devin Bush Jr. They're going to come together, they're going to form like Voltron, and they're going to shut down the Bills offense. Josh Allen is not going to run wild all over the Steelers. That's not going to happen. So Watt and Dupree are going to contain him. Because we know that Josh Allen likes to run. In fact, I believe there are times where he prefers running the ball than he does throwing. He loves to take off and run. But the Steelers will keep him inside the pocket. Dupree and Watt will do a great job keeping him contained. And then when he tries to rush up into the pocket, Cameron Hayward will be waiting for him. So that's what's going to happen. The Steelers will dominate the Buffalo Bills offense. They will stymie them. They'll make it difficult for the Bills to run and throw. So Josh Allen will struggle against the Steelers defense. And that is the game plan. That's what's going to happen. The Steelers will not let the Bills offense go wild. No way. And then the Steelers special teams will control the clock. Hey, they got a touchdown against the Cardinals last week. Maybe the Steelers special teams will contribute with a touchdown in the game against the Bills. We'll have to wait and see. So Mike Tomlin will have this team ready to play. He always does. And I'm proud of this team. Despite having injuries to Ben Roethlisberger, despite missing Judas Smith-Schuster for some games, and James Conner as well, they are still finding a way to win. We have got to give kudos to Mike Tomlin because he has his team ready to play. We gotta give props to these players who are filling in for these injured players and playing well. We know that in the NFL, it's very hard to win games without your starting quarterback, with your starting running back missing games, and with your starting wide receiver missing games. It is hard to win in the NFL having key offensive players out. It's so hard to win. But for the Steelers to do this, for the Steelers to win despite having key offensive players being injured and missing several games, man, we got to give props to this team because most teams will not be successful. Most teams will not be in playoff contention like the Steelers are. The Steelers are playing very well. They're playing fantastic football. Doug Hodges, he's doing his thing. I like what he's doing. He's doing just enough to help the team win. The Steelers offensive linemen are doing a great job too. They're helping create running lanes for these running backs. So the whole team overall is playing well. Like I said, Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin deserves a lot of credit for that. These Steelers players too, they should be proud of themselves for how they're playing. And I've got them making the playoffs. And when they make the playoffs, they will make a lot of noise. They're going to cause headaches and fits for any teams that they meet in the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if this team made it to the AFC Championship game. It's possible. I'm not ruling it out. Because they're playing fantastic football. They're finding ways to win. It's not always pretty, but hey, it doesn't matter. 
a win by any other name is still a win and that's what they're doing they're winning so after this game they will be nine and five and they're gonna head straight into the playoffs and they'll make some noise once they make it to the playoffs thanks for watching thanks for listening you should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already just press that subscribe button below this video if you did that I greatly appreciate it and plus by subscribing you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post so you should definitely subscribe thanks again for watching thanks for listening I hope that all of you have a blessed wonderful day